Hello. Hello. Oh. Everything all right? I think everything's good. All right. Hello. I may not be in as good of spirits as yesterday. I had a bit of a nightmare. Perfect timing, I suppose. Just for streaming. And I did not particularly like that experience. But I'll try my best. Oh, I'm a bit tired though. I might not upload this VOD until I wake up. And actually, I might not stream for as long. Am I dealing with audio issues on my end? I am. Uh oh. I can tell it's not, there's no audio issues on the streaming end. But there's, there's always an issue with headphones and this computer. It's not like super terrible though, so I should be able to deal with it for just the stream. Oh, I don't even know what I want to do right now. Um, I could probably like Just go collect more trash. And you know what? Maybe it is time to finally blow this thing up. What if I make the rocket now and prepare for when we head to Desolo? We'll be doing that for a while, but it's it's good to be prepared. Tings. Yeah, I get it. Moving out of here. hearing at some point when looking for assistance on the subreddit that there's actually a packaging glitch where you can duplicate items but I have no clue if that's still a thing or not. I think salvage is the cheapest of things. So I think I might just use the shredder and make a lot of scrap.
nice. Now, I'm thinking of heading back to the node and then getting my trailer, tractor and my trailers back. Whoops! I, that happens more often than it should. Like, I know that hole is there, I should not keep getting stuck. bring any more packagers. I did not. Well, you know what? I would make a small package, so... Whatever. We don't need it. Classic. Not of use. I don't know why I wanted to head directly to that base, but that's not where we need to go. We need to go in here. I believe this is the node where my things are at. Actually, do two nodes today. I think I'll head for that node right now, and then head home. Cause I kind of want to speed up the process to get to Desolo. Cause I, I talk about it every once in a while, and I'm itching to make progress. <laughs> Besides, the core node is like the best part of activating all the nodes. On a planet. It's just so lovely. I was thinking of taking a nap after stream because I didn't wake up on a good start, but. Honestly, I don't think so. I don't think I should do that. Because I'm already starting to feel better. Done lore! Ooh, tethers. Shit. 
Oh, I haven't even done the cool thing that, that you can do with these. And it's nighttime, so it will look even better. <laughs> oh, but that's not all. See, it says global stability is 72.58%. Forty-seven point twenty-seven percent. So the global stability is there. Three point nine two percent. Yeah, I see that space station up there. All the time. I think that's a starting station, but for some reason my brain went and register that and would think, oh, that's somewhere that I need to go later on, but I've never been able to get there. Anyway. Then it explodes. Just kidding. It just all resets. And it's super cool. And mysterious and awesome. And cool music plays. I love this game so much. See, this is whenever you can normally see the pillars of light. I have so many tethers. I do not need these many tethers. Actually, that's what I don't need. I keep finding the dynamite everywhere. But I think I'll just leave it there and I might come across it miraculously at a later point. I keep finding more packs with the things. There's so many of them. At least I keep getting research. More bites. Much, much, much. If my math is correct, I should be able to get up onto the thing now. Me and my calculations. Oh, right, I need this to get up there. That's what I need. I don't need to just get myself up there. I need to get the whole tractor up there, too. I totally forgot about that. Work. It works. Woo! I don't want to fall off. There we go. That should be good.
Ta -da. So lovely. So satisfying. Now we can head back to base. before the missions the general like item setup I would have for my tractor would be a wind turbine and a solar panel because I could only find things from scrap and there wasn't nearly as much scrap available as there is now I don't recognize this base. I don't have any dynamite on me. Oh, but I'm looking right at some, obviously. Ammonium isn't too terribly hard to find. It's just rare. It's the rarest of the common things. Interesting. Hey, Dale, what's up? I'm, I'm just kind of looking over at chat every once in a while, but it's lovely to see you. How are things going? I might actually like miss out on some messages every once in a while, but like for the most part I'm trying to pay attention. Uh no, I'm I'm actually like um Wait, what do you mean by rerun? Do you mean like uh like a VOD or like pre recorded or no? Cause um if you're referring to like going through gameplay again, then technically yes, and I think I'm stuck. But this is live. I am live. Okay, it's showing that on my screen that it's like a reprogress. Well, I do have a couple of 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 vods available to look at on on here but um yeah i'm trying to stream weekdays starting at 2 p.m and i always um post a little link on my instagram story shortly before i start because i can't access my phone while i'm streaming because that's what i'm using as my camera
maybe I sh shouldn't cut through the forest again. Th this never ends well for me. But I am too stubborn. I'll get through. I always do. Or maybe not this time. is happening oh it's making a hole i forgot that's how that works i'm sorry for popping in and complaining oh no you're not complaining um i mean i am just starting so like there's a lot that i'm still working on um, in, in general, uh, I'm still working on certain things, and the general, like, look of the stream is still very bare bones. Besides, this VTuber model I'm using is outdated, and I do plan on- Oh, shit! No! Oh, well, um, I'm in a bit of a pickle. Uh oh well- here I go. Down into a cave. Perfect. Actually, my things might be nearby. <laughs> wow, perfect timing. I'm trying to talk about something important and then I fall into a hole. I knew this was gonna happen eventually. I just didn't think it would happen ahead of such, a, such an important moment. There's still a lot of experimenting that I'm going to be doing. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it is time to spelunk. Just in general, um, I'm still working on stuff. But things should be better by next week. Because I'll be taking the time this weekend to work on more stream stuff. I literally just wanted to bring this large debris back so I can get more points. I know I'm sad because I fell in a hole. But my stuff should be nearby, so it shouldn't be too bad. Why Twitch would be showing that this is a rerun? I wonder if that's a bug. I think maybe I should just try to tunnel back up to the surface. And build the bridge. Yeah, I just so happened to fall into the one crevice that was in my path. Honestly, I could probably turn that off now. setting who knows oh yeah um this game is called astron year it is an an indie game that um came out in 2016 i've been playing it since 2020 um it's essentially a survival sandbox engineering type game 
and um, just in general, I like it a lot. Um, I have over a hundred hours in it, and like I know most streamers have like thousands of hours in a game. I think most people that like really like a particular game have that much time in it, but I am extremely casual most of the time. So, uh, well, I mean, like, you know, like, we're all busy, we're adults, we've got adult things to do. Um, but, um, now that I'm streaming, I suppose my amount of hours will increase like crazy. And not just that. But now I get to introduce people to some games that I like, that they may not know about. Whee! I can actually probably start bringing this up now. But also, in recent time, with this game, within the past few years, there's been more, um, larger updates. Like, this game was fairly bare bones back when I played it, back when I started playing it. Um... And, uh... Yeah, at the time, it was pretty much just, like, uh, you figure everything out for yourself. And I liked it like that, but the new missions are, are quite nice as well. I like them a lot. And, um, they make certain things a lot easier. Because, um, there are missions, and some of the rewards you get are things that you can't craft quite yet. Because, um... Actually, hold on. Let me get back to this. Ah! Enough of that. Um, because there's actually a built-in astropedia, so you can look at all of the items in one convenient little place. No, 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 no! No falling. If you're gonna slide, do it over there. Yeah, there's an astropedia right here. There's the basics, the controls, the action wheel, interaction, and the terrain tool and inventory. All the good controls and stuff, but there's also multiple planets in this game. Gotta get some parking brakes for that. Yeah, absolutely. But there's multiple planets and they each have different atmosphere or er, at resources they do have different atmosphere components but in general they have different um unique um materials like the next like we're on silva it's the starting planet and then the next place we're going is desolo um in general um Sphalerite and Malachite. Sphalerite in particular is fairly important, but the notable resources section are the resources that are unique to each planet, and of course the gases are listed. You better not be falling over there. Wow, of course, it's all the way over there. I guess I'll talk about the resources when my tractor isn't sliding away from me. Oh, hey, look at that! Surface. I am kind of driving up a near vertical surface. But it is what it is, and we should be able to leave now. But yeah, there's multiple planets. Essentially, we're just exploring an entire solar system. Oop. Oh, that's not a pleasant place to come out at. I seem to be stuck. There's always something that goes crazy. But 
but since I'm finally out, I can get back to base like I intended to. I think the last biggest update for this game was introducing a train system, but um, the station starts on um, Glacio, but that system was introduced to make, um, it was introduced to make um, transferring items between planets a lot easier. I just I don't like that the starting location is on Glacio because it's one of the last planets you'll be visiting. And I don't like that. Why can't it be on Silva like everything else? Well, I suppose not everything can be easy. Sometimes things have to be difficult. But I think I can send off my rocket now. But I remember starting... Oh, wait, hold on. Let me get one more thing. And then I think I'll send it off. Because it looks like I'm very close to achieving that next goal. But I don't have quite enough points. But I remember starting this game just with no knowledge of it. Just everything a big mystery. None of these existed. Um, the little, the lastropods didn't exist. Quests didn't exist. It was just you and the solar system. And um, I had a total blast um, figuring out what the heck was up with the different nodes on each planet. And then being like, oh, I wonder what's at the core. And digging all the way down and finding this beautiful thing that I'm saving until later to show. I've been teasing it this whole time. It's, it truly really is quite a sight to see. This game is just very, very pretty. Oh, I didn't know that made a big, big debris. That's nice. I thought it was going to make a, a small one, but that's even better. I can get more stuff. My points. Let's see. I think we can save that for later and put that up there. And then... I might get my thing. Let's see. I'm personally not a fan of sandbox games like that. So I appreciate the quests and stuff. Yeah, sometimes it can get a little draining. Like, um, I don't really play Minecraft anymore. I think the last version I played was like 1.8. Um, and I would usually just like be like, I am going to beat the game this time. And then I would just build a house and play something else. Like, like it, it's very easy to like, just kind of want to do something else whenever there's not much of a goal to figure out. But yeah, these little quests make it a bit easier. Cause then you get, you get free stuff. All right, did I not get the, no, I didn't get the thing. But that will get me the thing. Bye.
Let's see if we can see the rocket spawn in from here. That's nice. It doesn't just come down directly. That's a really lovely detail, actually. But I got a new thing. I believe it's a palette. Where is it? Jewel. Ooh. Pretty. See if I can see it better in the light. That's really nice, actually. And they've had these exo things for a very long time, so this is older than like the quests and stuff that I've mentioned. Um, but they very rarely happen. And I think I only witnessed one, and I couldn't participate in it because. I had just started the game, and the materials I needed were on different planets. So I was just like, man, I'm gonna work on something else. I think, like, a tease of mystery definitely helps with, uh, with a game, even before there's any, like, quest stuff. I think I know where these things are used, but I'm not gonna say anything about that yet. Because I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Let's see. The nearest thing is that way. Okay, I have another shredder. And a lot of these node things. Should call it more resources. I don't know. I really wanted to like just get to the point with the nodes. general lack of direction in sandbox games um that same general lack of direction is one of my biggest problems with uh zelda breath of the wild and like i know nobody likes to hear any sort of criticism but since tears of the kingdom is out i am fully 100 percent confident in my opinion because i was right that the general like lack of direction and there's just too much freedom and not really that much to do either it felt real empty like yeah there were side quests and there was a really big map but you need more than that you need like substance 
and whenever all of your substance is optional, it just doesn't hit the same. So, there are certain sandbox games that would very much benefit from having more compelling story, more like direct involvement in your playstyle instead of just something you have have to happen to come across. Like I just so happened to come across the nodes way back in 2020 when I started playing. Like I saw a pillar of light while exploring and I was like, oh what's that? But not everybody's gonna notice that. So now with the quests, it's an incentive to do the things. And it's really nice because then you get rewards for doing the things that the game wants you to do. Oh, by the way, I do not want any spoilers regarding Tears of the Kingdom anywhere. I, I mean, like, it might be something I know, but it might not be something that somebody else knows. And I know there's not that many people here, but, like... I just, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't be nice. Because the game is very, like, saturated with a lot of lore and story and stuff. And I know a lot of people would prefer to find that themselves. So anytime I talk about Zelda, yeah, exactly. I, I don't want any spoilers because... I don't know who hasn't played it, and I don't know if anyone who has played it has made any significant progress or anything like that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, uh, the reason why I didn't have my PNG tuber ready for streaming is specifically because of Tears of the Kingdom. So getting distracted by lovely games is definitely something I think we all deal with. Well, I think there's stuff at one of these. I don't remember, though. Might not be. Might be research, but that's about it. There's always something to salvage at these places, and whether it be scrap or actual materials, it's just something that you're just gonna have to figure out. But just in general, without sharing any spoilers, they did a really good combination of both old formula and new formula Zelda with Tears of the Kingdom. Like they went a little too experimental with Breath of the Wild. It's still a good game, obviously, but like they did fantastic work with Tears of the Kingdom, building off of what they already had. And they took their time with it. And you know when Nintendo takes their time with a game, that is gonna come out good. And for that same exact reason, I am very excited for Metroid Prime 4, because Dread took 20 years and turned out fantastic. And I am a big, Metroid nerd. Samus is my wife and I love her very much. And hopefully once I get like a capture card and stuff, I can start playing some of my Metroid games on stream as well. But if you want to know some Samuel lore in regards to my VTuber, my wife is Samus Aaron from the hit game series Metroid. She's my wife and she's pretty and she's cool and awesome and I love her very much.
think I might read out all of the uh, little mystery items I find at some point. Because there's so many of them, but they all say different things. It's like the echoes of previous astroneers. But there's no signs of bodies, just packs. That's also what happens when you die, is that whenever you go back to where you died, it's just your pack. There is no body. No body. I think this game is on Switch and other consoles, but, um... I, it's definitely one of those games where it's just better to play on PC controls wise because like I've played other games that were designed for PC on console systems like Stardew Valley I've played a little bit of that on the switch but it was not made with switch controls in mind it was made specifically for keyboard and mouse and it's a little clunky on the switch because you have to use so much mouse in that game. So I don't know how well this game would fare. Whoa! Oh. I don't know how well this game would fare on a console versus just PC like this. This game also means a lot to me because it was my first purchase on Steam. Mm. Yeah, I get that. I just don't like how like slow the cursor is on Switch. Protecting the wrist is very important. Now, oh, actually we have one left. Let's just go ahead and do that one. I really hope that's enough carbon, because if not, I'm gonna be a little upset. What's funny is for me, using my thumbs too much tends to irritate my wrists. But then again, as you know, I have a very strange body that doesn't tend to behave in the way most other bodies behave. So of course my wrists, my wrists would be irritated by different things too. For some reason, because I don't know. I tend to have this weird humor thing. I just recently noticed this weird thing I do where like sometimes I'll like say something obvious but then make fun of the fact that I s said something so obvious but it might sound like me being like arrogant or cocky. I have never really considered how that comes off to other people until, re until I started streaming. Because I've done it a few times already, but like, I don't think it's a good, I don't think that's a good behavior for me to use, to, for me to have. Like, I'll just be like, oh, there's a thing over there. You know, as things tend to be. Like, that's in a general example. I'll always start it off with, you know. Because, like, I'm making fun of pointing out something obvious. But it's just, like, monkey brain versus people brain. I'm just, like, kind of teasing myself, I suppose. But I don't think it's a particularly good behavior to have. And I should really try to stop doing that.
the general theme of the previous two streams was do a bunch of stuff and then go to the node. But this time, I'm just getting all the nodes done. Because structuring time may be a benefit, but structuring what I do in that time might not always work. I said I would take my time, but I'm getting impatient. Ah! God damn it, no! I hate the crevices so much. Well. Time to make another path. Also, the only real way to die in this game is by being careless. Like, you don't really get screwed over unless you just aren't paying attention. And really the only hazards are like occasional plants. That's some music. Oh, I think this is supposed to be cave music. But I'm not really in a cave anymore. I'm working on packing the art up. And the bugs will work. No, it's a centimeter too small. Oh, that's awful. Damn. I did find another hole. The crevices are notorious for being full of them. Oh, ammonium. That's ammonia, so whatever I was looking at before with those little, like, exo research capsules was not ammonia. I think it may have been something complicated. Because there are different materials you can make with a, a chemistry thing. Actually, let me look, because I remember what the symbol was. Resources. Oh! Was it lithium? Ew! I do not like lithium. It's like only on one planet, I think. Oh no, it's on two. It's on Vesania and Novus. But Nov Novus is Vis Vesania's moon. But that means it would take forever! So it's not worth the trouble. But I do think, like, the actual proper, like... Exo... <laughs> it is, it is definitely a strat. Chopping down trees by digging underneath them. I think, yeah, lithium always, yeah. I need to watch Ghost in the Shell, the actual original anime. My, my dad is one of those people that watches an American adaptation of an, of an anime and is like, oh, it's actually good. But like, I always trust my sister whenever it comes to those kinds of opinions. <laughs> But I think I've seen a little bit of the anime, like, as a kid on Tsunami. But I was a child, and obviously I didn't watch it in chronological order. I just watched it when I was sleepy. But I couldn't fall asleep. I think if my sister was watching the stream and knew that I haven't watched Ghost in the Shell yet, she'd probably be like, You haven't watched Ghost in the Shell? Stop streaming right now and get to work. Oh, yeah, that's the one that my dad likes. I 
like, of course, something like that's gonna look good to somebody who's never seen the original medium. Yeah, the American adaptation, yeah. Like, if there's gonna be a live-action adaptation of something, I'd prefer it to be by people who are actually from where the thing was made. There's American adaptations for all sorts of stuff, though, so I think it's just, like, an American thing to, like, see something foreign and being like, oh, we must Americanize it! We must Americanize it! We must make it... for the land of the free in our own way! And then they butcher it like crazy. Like, I learned that the Good Doctor is apparently, um... an American adaptation of a very short K-drama. And I don't even want to get into why The Good Doctor sucks. You can find plenty of other people who are much more qualified to talk about that. Besides, I haven't even watched it because I've seen a lot of people complain about it and I'm like, hmm, I don't want to expose myself to something that I wouldn't like. But finding out that it's an American adaptation, it just, there's just something, there's just something, like, special, but in, like, a negative kind of way about American adaptations. They're very, they're very rarely good. I don't, I can't think of any good American adaptations off the top of my head. Like, I genuinely can't. Like, I watched Alita Battle Angel, the, the American movie, with my parents. And, like, yeah, it's pretty good on its own, but I don't know how it compares to the actual manga. And I don't even want to talk about their choice of appearance with Alita herself. That just, that was just weird. Like, I know it's supposed to distinguish her because of plot reasons and actual, like, lore reasons. But it's just, it just looks weird. It's very strange. Like, if her appearance is gonna be different, you gotta- yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm sure the source material is pretty odd. But I- I still haven't bothered checking it out. Oh, that better be enough carbon, please! Please! Don't die on me at the last second! Oh no, I think it's gonna give out on me. Shit! Hold on. Hold on! No! My things! No! No, it's not enough! It's not enough! Shit! Oh uh, no! Oh, and I can't make any carbon here either. I can try going off and making some tiny generators. But that won't be nice. Oh. It's not quite enough. So 
throw some compound over here. I can collect some of that. Lovely. Some right up there. Nice. So I need compound. Makes probably only need to make one or two generators. Ooh, I don't know what that was. There we go. That was so sad. My generator just didn't quite have enough. But I also need to get some organic because the medium generator needs carbon but I only need organic for the small ones. There we go. wait until the wind comes back because it only takes three small generators to start one of these up but I don't want to waste any of my oh there we go because yeah that's more than enough because there's already the uh, QTRTG Can't live without them. Guess I will need another one after all.
am struggling. Well, of course, my biggest issues would only come up on the stream. But that makes things more exciting. Yeah, as, as I think there's like a saying where like... It's something regarding like... The fact that like... You only do terribly when people are watching you. Or something like that. Let's try it this time. Because the wind's looking pretty strong right now, and I think it might be enough to get through. Ooh, I think we're gonna do it! pull up the thing, the map for all the nodes, you notice that there's one right in the center. Yes, and when before there were any quests that told you about that, it's like, oh, what's that mysterious thing? Then you go and find it, and it's so pretty. I think maybe I'll end this stream off with getting the central node. It's been a very node heavy stream and I like that a lot actually. That's more my style. And then tomorrow, well I might not stream tomorrow. Next stream! I don't know if I'll we'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, I'll probably update and confirm whether or not I will on Instagram. But, um, whenever I stream next, either tomorrow or Monday, we'll be heading for Desolo. And I know it's nearby, I don't think it's visible right now though. Yeah, I'll swear right now. Oh, but I really want to be able to get that suit. Ugh, that's so many. Well, it won't be too bad. And it'll, that'll make more sense. Next stream. I think, I think, um, in general, teasing what's coming up always gets people more engaged. But it's not like it's not gonna happen. Of course I'm gonna, of course I'm gonna try to do what I need to. But, like, I gotta think about how things are gonna be set up to prepare. What I need to do now. I have so many of these, and I don't even know what to do with them. I did say I'd try to read them out, though. Oh, and also we'll be able to get the next Galastropod on Desolo, because there's a Galastropod for each planet. This is Gisova Sylvie. And the next one is G Desolo, Galastropod of Desolo. And, um, and her name is Usagi. Yeah, so, uh, um, their ability is, uh, to basically light, light everything up 
when they're well fed they light up a room quite literally and it's very cute which ones were his lines i think i don't remember if they were the ones up here or not but i'll check anyway some tethers? I do. There's a whole other path in there. But that one's not mine. Also, if you're wondering why I haven't done any art streams yet, um, it's because um, I can't connect my laptop to display on my PC, and um, I don't want to stream OBS on my laptop un until I at least get um, my PNG tuber, because then I I would be more comfortable with streaming on my laptop versus on my um, PC. But I tried to do the whole like projecting thing, but one of but for my PC it doesn't have a project onto this PC, and then the whole like the other thingy that's similar to that like working on one while you're technically working on the other apparently that costs money because microsoft is greedy and i don't like that so and and if i tried to draw with my little xp pen drawing tablet i don't think that would turn out particularly well I mean, it'd be funny for a stream, but I don't even know what I'd have as, like, background noise. I don't know if I can use my Spotify as background music or not. And I don't know how I feel about royalty-free electronic music. I might have to look more into that. Because I can't just have commentary without background noise. I might just look up like a a music playlist for like game soundtracks and put that on shuffle in the background. I might just use the Astroneer soundtrack for that. But I think my general game structure will probably be one long form game and various short form games in between. So I don't get burnt out on Astroneer. Because like no matter how much you love something, you can still get burnt out on it. Too much is a thing for literally everything. Oh there's Desolo right there. I was on a mission to collect his binds, but I suppose just, like, running over to a patch would be better than just heading in one direction. Besides, I can make my own path. Oh no, those bounce finds. I think his binds are the ones. Mm. 
but it's fine because Sylvie likes them anyway. Um, and there might be some people who are like, no, your VTuber's fine. You don't need to make a PNG tuber. It's not that I need to, it's that I want to. And, um, I feel like a lot of streamers get burnt out by only doing what other people want them to do. Like, and never really considering what they actually want. And I don't want that to happen. Like, obviously I'll consider other people's opinions, but my general well-being takes priority. And, uh, I don't, and as an artist, if I'm not satisfied with something, I have to do something about it. That's just how it is. Uh, all right. I just did that just to kind of like burn a little bit more time, but I think now it is time to go to the unders. I need to collect a little bit of compound first. Actually, hold on. I'll add it didn't do much. Because one thing I definitely want to make clear with my content is that, yeah, I've got to play a lot of games and I am technically a content creator, but I am an artist first and foremost. So that will carry over into my work all the time. And I think that's a pretty important thing to keep in mind. For myself there have been a few times where I've gone like zooming down a hole that I've made and then I end up destroying my legs and my entire body and dying as a result I think there are dagger roots down here I remember them being a lot more common on other planets but I think there are some dagger roots <gasps> Wait a second. There was a mushroom top here before. I have no idea why it defawned. But that scared the shit out of me. I was like, what happened? Oh! <laughs> it just didn't load in. <laughs> it scared me. I was like, no! My smooth progression through the tunnel I've made so far. And I haven't even gotten to the core yet. I've just been, uh... Digging and digging and digging and digging and digging. But I still haven't hit it quite yet. But I think we're one layer away. Because this is like the tough stuff. And that's always a big sign. Yep, I knew it. I was right. But I wonder if I'm digging through the last layer or not. Oh, no, I am not. Good, because like I don't want to just end up falling and not being able to get back up if I need to.
Also, the gravity gets funky, and I think that's such a lovely detail. Because even before the region names, like, you could always tell if you were getting really close to the core, simply because the gravity would get funky. Fingers moved. I don't like those things, but I, I think those are the his spines. Yeah, those are his spines. That's right. They spew little toxic clouds of gas at you. In general, if you do ever play this game and you make um, a halt to the core, make sure you put tethers so you know which way to go back. But look at this! Look how pretty! Oh, you're- thanks, you're ruining everything! But look how pretty! I love this so much. Just everything about this game. But you don't really need to worry about tethers after a certain point. Because there's air in here for some reason. It's just good to have the tethers so you have a visual aid. because you will absolutely lose your sense of direction. Oh, it's quartz, that's right. And I think it was... one of these, possibly this one. Thankfully, the threat of suffocation isn't a thing here. some quartz right there. Yeah, it is. Um, hello? Quartz? <laughs> Why isn't it? Well, that's not very nice. There they 
are. I see them. There we go. Yeah, this top layer is the indicator that you can breathe again. Ah, it's so lovely. Thank you. No oh, thanks. Be gone. Actively dangerous plants can be replanted for a safer alternative. So passively dangerous ones like like um, pop coral or dagger root, they cannot be replanted. May I leave the Gravity, please. Ugh, there we go. Oh, there are dagger roots here. I think that's what they're called. Yeah. But there should be some quartz nearby. That's not quartz. Oh. But whatever. I really hope I don't get lost. I don't want to venture too far away. I think right now, one of my, like, long distance goals for, like, content, specifically what I want to stream, there's a specific game from my childhood that I would love to stream one day. I might have to emulate it because it's a DS game. But if that's what I have to do, I'll do it. It's just the only problem is, is I've always had um, issues with finding a proper emulator for this specific game because the last time it was updated was Windows 7. And I know it wouldn't be popular because of it's a very obscure game, but it's Magical Star Sign on the DS. It was a launch title, and it is technically a sequel, but it works independently. The, uh, the first game uh, was never localized for English, but I have um, a translated um, emulation of the first game, which is Magical Vacation.
but just in general, it's one of my favorites. It's why I like turn-based RPGs so much, and it's got a really, really good story. It's been a pretty big inspiration for some of my works as well. And I would just love to be able to share that one day. All right, it's the quartz. Do I seriously have to go back up the path? Because I really don't want to. There's astronium, but like, it may be pretty, but it's like useless. Can't really use it for anything other than, I think like trading perhaps. Yeah, it's a trade resource. That's all it's used for. And I hate that. Like you make this super pretty and mysterious resource and then make it exclusive to trading. Why would you do that? I want to use it to make magical, fantastic things. I'm a little mad now. I didn't want to have to go up just to freaking get some quartz. I don't have to go back all the way to my base. Thankfully, I just need to find um, a quartz cache somewhere around here. My phone's going off. Why is my phone going off? Excuse me. No. Do not call me. I'm streaming. I know you. <laughs> oh. Hold on. Give me a second. I am streaming. You cannot call me while I'm streaming. I'm wondering what that noise was. It turns out it was my phone. Oh. <laughs> I did not mean to do that, but hey, resource. Whatever, letter A is good. Like genuinely, I've never seen that before. Hold on. Should I take a detour? Because now I'm genuinely considering it. I mean, it might help me find some quartz. Probably some up there though. But like, I think it's time for a little detour. There's so much laterite. Is there a light over here? I want to know. Or is it just... I guess it's just bioluminescence. But whatever, that's cool. Okay, now 
I'm upset because I'm having to go up even further because that one patch of quartz that I saw would not work and I am upset about that. Well, at least we'll get to slide down the tunnel again. That's always fun. Interesting. Can't be researched. Strange. No, die. I refuse. <sighs> Finally! First time I've died on oh, stream. It was because I was being a little silly. I was being a bit of a silly goose. I don't want to blow up that mushroom. Woo! Okay, I wasn't super high up, thankfully. Yeah, it looks like, oh, I was just right here. There's my pack right there. Time to blow up that mushroom. <laughs> Ooh, there's some astronium. I don't really need it, but. Well, damn, I could have used it for that over there. Everything. Yep. That's all of it. No more dying. Ah! <laughs> I spoke too soon. <laughs> they don't always make the best of decisions when I'm excited.
Big Remedy's gotten wonky. So this one is on the uh, the resource side. This side. I believe in a more recent update, they made it to where you can actually activate the core with with only one um, surface node activated. Because before, I think you had to activate all of them. Nice! And then there's this. And, yep. There's something out there. We're getting into the good stuff now. <sighs> and you may be wondering why I have an extra little thing with me. That is because you'll see why. <laughs> Just like with everything, you'll see why. Yeah, I'll try not to leave any stones left unturned. Because there's, there's quite a bit to do here. And um, I don't want to leave anything I don't, I don't want to leave anything without, like, properly, like, being like, Oh, what does this do? What does that do? No unanswered questions. Because there are still some things that even I don't know about this game. Because I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, like, finished everything there is to do in the game. I think i probably say I made it about like halfway through? Maybe? Um, there are a few things that I still struggle to get, but once you like hit a point where it's really easy to deal with resources between planets and whatnot, then things tend to go a bit faster. And now we're back home. And now for the next for the next stream, I will be making a rocket. That'll be the exciting thing for the next stream. Because who doesn't like rockets? Who doesn't like them? They're awesome. And, uh, I might do a little more scrap hunting, just a bit more, because I don't remember what all it takes to make the exo- whatever rocket. This one, exo request platform. I think it was- Oh, it's just resin and ceramic, so I can make a new one on Desolo. We can do scrap hunting on Desolo. We're heading for our next target. And for the mysterious cosmic node as well. That'll be fun to see. So hopefully, um, I think I will stream tomorrow. I think I will stream tomorrow, 2 p.m. Mountain Time, like usual. Might start right before, might start right after, but it'll be around 2 p.m. Mountain Time. Thank you for watching. I've had a blast. This is getting to be really enjoyable. This always makes me happy doing the streams. At first I was like, ooh, 
I hope I hope it goes well. But like, I don't care how quiet it is. This is fun. I'm having fun, and I think that's great. And I'm not falling into a depressive pit like every other summer. So even if nobody watches, this is good for me. And if you like my content, then that makes me very happy. If you don't, then find somebody else to watch. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm saying that genuinely. You don't have to watch something that you don't like. Remember that. If you don't like something, go find something else to watch. Go take care of yourself. Do what you love. Don't force yourself to, to consume something just because people try to get you to. Do what you want. Anyway. I'm gonna see you quick. And farewell. I've had fun. See you tomorrow.